Hello and welcome back. Yes, folks, it's me, Ricardo. And as you can see, I've packed myself in a bit of an asteroid belt. Um, yes, asteroids. Can't live with them. Can't live with them. And as you know, I do hate a little bit of mining. So I've got my Imperial Cutter down here. Um, and it's doing all those things that Imperial Cutters do. Right. Um, which is all good stuff, right? It's all good stuff. So what are we going to be doing today? Well, quite a few things, really. We're going to be doing mining um, and all sorts of, of different stuff. Hello there. Right. OK, so I'm just going to try and get some things uh, set up really now with the um, how are you doing, Mike, with the with the stream. There we go. I've just realized that all my chat and stuff like that is not appearing on the screen. Oh, you just got to love Streamlabs. Why does Streamlabs mess around with so much stuff? It's a right pain in the iris. Anyway, so why are we here? I'll tell you why we're here. We're here for the following reason. There's this community goal, right? The Taurus Mining Ventures has requested help with mining and delivery operation in the Sanufi system. Now, there's another um, community goal going on there in regards to salvation at the moment in regards to picking up Guardian materials and taking them to a ship uh, in the HIP system, in a HIP system not too far away. This is mining the following materials. Lithium hydroxide, coltan and methanol mohodrate crystals. Um, and then dropped off at the heart of Taurus megaship. So there you go. That's what it's all about. So we will indeed have to see. Do you need to bring your detailed surface scan? No, I have one. Um, I do indeed have one. So what I'm going to do is, let me see, let me just exit out of there, exit to main menu. What I can do is uh, continue, go into my private session, uh, that one, connect to private group, and we're away. We are away right okay then so what i want to do now is do do bring that back up that's great and then go some reason it's taken my chat thing away oh, i hate it anyway never mind we'll just get we'll just get on with it so here i am i'm in the ring i'm in my um my private group now what we can do is we just fly in here boom drop the cargo scoop i've gone for the tritium hotspot around um, A10B which is great there it is there's my limpet prospector lithium hydroxide methane clartrite all that stuff we're just going to start mining stuff and just pick up stuff see how it goes So I'm using the mining lance, yeah, as well, um, which is all good stuff. I like a bit of the mining lance. Ah, there's my chat. Cool. Chat is back. The chat is back. I'll send an invite. Just saw that now, Mike. Uh, where is it? Go. That's that done. See, Simon's doing some some messing about in another system, and we'll have a go at that later. Going to get some limpets on the go. Now I've got a multi limpet controller here as well.
Right. Let's start mining. And you know what, right? It's it's so. Some people say, "Oh, I like mining. It's nice and nice and nice and peaceful." Mining, I think, is boring. It's a tolerable grind, though. I think that's what I think it is. A tolerable grind. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to be just block that destination for the tritium hotspot so I get a bit of an idea of where I am. And carry on whizzing about. That's the plan. Now it's a nice day today and I don't imagine too many people are going to be around playing Elite Dangerous, but you never know. Now it's also going to be a good, a good excuse to get some additional materials like chromium, germanium and all that sort of stuff that are going to be in this particular hotspot. Iron, sulfur, nickel, carbon, all that, all that sort of stuff. So, good stuff. So what we're going to do, we're going to do this for the per first part of the stream. Um, and then, I think we'll probably jump the carrier to wherever Simon's messing about and then help him out changing more systems into anarchy systems. Because that is kind of where it's all at. Now this community goal, like the Guardian community goal we covered yesterday, is one that all commanders can use, right? What do I mean by that? Well, I'm not being salty or anything like this. What I mean by this is, is that you don't need Odyssey to do it, right? Don't need, you know, you don't, you don't need, you can do it on your console, is what I'm saying. Right. As you can see, I've got that iridescent pack. It's quite nice. The Aurora one goes nice on that ship. And of course, we've got a little bit of sunlight as well, which is also good. And those mining lances, they're quite long range as well. So, uh, what were we doing? We were looking at the Prospector Olympic. There it is. And the good thing about this is I'm also going to get, um, I'm also going to be getting tritium. Of course, the closer I get, I also get my other mining laser in there as well. Good stuff, eh? Yes, well, it's mining, everybody. It's mining. And ways you can get quite a bit of money from mining. Everybody, hi Law, how are you doing? Seven Commander, we salute you. So yeah, like I said, we're looking for the following materials. Lithium hydroxide, 7% in this one. Methanol monohydrate and coltan. Well, I haven't found any coltan yet, but then again, you know, I have got a little bit of tritium coming in as well, which suits me fine, sir. It re it really does. 
That's why all my flying monkey, monkey limpets are doing their thing and picking things up. Let's start the mining process on another asteroid. So yeah, good stuff, but I'm not going to be doing this all stream, don't worry. Because it's as boring as bloody hell. That is a good paint job, though. I must admit, it does look nice. Look at that, I love it. Someone's at my front door. Brilliant. Now, I've got to go and answer the door because no one else is capable of doing so. Right, okay then. So dead easy, a lot of the asteroids here in this particular tritium ring have got what we need. Um, so, good for them. How many collectors are One, two, three, four, five, six collectors. I could probably go another one. And we're picking up all sorts of stuff. I'm not going to be too precious about this community goal. I don't particularly want to be doing it. I say I find mining boring. Really boring. But it's a good excuse to get some things like, you know, tritium and God knows whatever else I need. Now, this ship is the Imperial Cutter. I've got it picked out with a um, multi-limpet controller, a 7A multi-limpet controller. Um, no shields, got some hull reinforcements, got the mining lands, which is a power play mining. Ali Kalani, go, 07 Commander. Um, I went through the, the hassle of getting the mining lance, um, which is a sort of like a weaponized mining laser. You can cause a bit of damage with it. So it just gives you that added little bit of bonus as well. Um, when you're out mining, someone might come and try and mug you off. At least you can do a little bit of damage with it. The ship's also got a big honking beam laser on it. And I've got a seismic charge just in case I come across something that looks particularly nice. As you can see, all my flying monkey monkey limpets are doing doing their thing. Which is great. And it's a nice place to be. And over there, you just see the other planets poking through the asteroid ring, which is quite good as well. But it rocks everywhere. Rocks everywhere, I tell you. So how are we doing for items I've actually, um, I've, so I'm doing all right on the crystals. I got some trit tritium's always nice to have, isn't it? You know, um, and in the hopper, I've got like a class four hopper. You can see I, I'm picking up all sorts of other stuff as well, kind of as I go. Which is great. Um, lithium hydroxide, just to make sure I remove that from the list as well, because I, I do need that. Lithium hydroxide, which is great. And then we're on. The next stuff. Right, on to the next one. 
Here we go. Like, unfortunately, mining is a necessary evil, isn't it, of this game? It's not something I tend to do an awful lot. It calls me absolutely stupid. Again, lithium hydroxide, that's great. Rocking in there with the tritium. And of course, we're going to get some germanium and some carbon. Some good materials. Now, the mining lance is one of the only things in the game you can't engineer, unfortunately. So it's one of those tools will not take any engineering. And I did a video on this ooh, not so long ago. I think the man mining lance comes from Torval. I think so anyway. So we're depleted on that one. Just waiting for the... Then pits to get on with it. And now we're refining that lithium hydroxide. Respect the limpet away. What will we get with this one? Here we go. Tritium. Well, that's worthwhile anyway, isn't it? Let's face it. Now it looks like to get some more collector limpets on the go. Got my seismic charge turret right there. look over here we should see all our limpets coming here they come look bringing back their fragments and it's kind of good to be back into the cutter again for a long time in elite dangerous i was using this ship as my go-to jump around ship i was at that stage where bigger was better right um now we know it not always is Know, the right ship for the right job is where I kind of gone down this way. This ship here, the cutter, great for mining, great for hauling stuff. You know, for combat, not so bad. And you can see I've got my great big honking beam laser there. Look, you know, look at it, it's so big. It's 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 just ginormous. It's like you almost come down and bang your head on it as you come down the steps of the cutter. It's like, whap, look at the size of that weapon. Where misses. Um, right, so we're going to go over there. Let's mine this tritium over here. Because it'd be rude not to get that tritium, wouldn't it? You know, fleet carriers don't run on, lo don't run on love. Mine doesn't. Yes, mining it all up. Tritium everywhere. Look at all that lovely tritium fragment. Now we might get two or three tons of tritium. But it's free. But it's not free. You've got the cost of the... You've got the cost of the, of the limpets. We know this. 
and the odd materials we're going to get as well when we mine it. So we've got carbon, phos carbon and phosphorus knocking about. Well, I don't think we need any phosphorus. And it's a nice, dense asteroid field as well, which is great. Ooh, we love all of that. Let's get mining. And the denser the asteroid field, the better it is for us, really, because we can set the flying monkey limpets off. They'll go off and do their thing. Kind of job done. Now, I've often thought, how can they make mining in Elite Dangerous more interesting? And that really is a question. I mean, if your ship's kitted out for mining, the last thing you want to see is a bunch of pirates that are going to destroy your lovely mining rig, right? That's a given. So adding combat into the mining zones when you're trying to mine kind of is more of an inconvenience than anything else in my opinion um so how else can they make it a bit more interesting well i've been thinking about this as you can probably imagine and this would be mostly for odyssey commanders why not have the ability to have massive mining ships in these asteroid belts right and then you being able to go there and intricate and, and sort of like instigate a heist to steal mining materials off a mining ore ship. Bit of combat, go in, hit the cargo release, cargo release opens the door, boom. You've got your buddies parked outside with their fuel scoops and their limpets ready, but you stormed it. You haven't done it externally via hacking data points. You've gone into the ship, you've run around the inside of the carrier, and we've got an, in, an inside of the carrier, right? Fought off all the guards, hit that lever, that opens the cargo pods, out comes all these lovely mining materials, and away you go. Now, how cool would that be? That would be a great way as well of sort of like getting additional mining. Yes, you're going to be a naughty boy or a naughty girl for that, but you are going to get loads and loads and loads of um, mining materials. I thought it'd be quite good, that. What a good idea. Well, I thought it was a good idea anyway. Whether it is or not, I don't know. Yeah, nothing else there. We're still picking up the other stuff. Um, I think if we go up a bit, the limpets can still do their thing, but it'll allow me to throw a limpet at that rock right there. And of course, the good thing with the mining lands is it's quite long range. Ah, oh, yes, indeed. So there you go. Mining in Elite Dangerous, everybody. It could be better. It could be more exciting. And I suppose with Odyssey now, um, they can kind of do what they want. Here he is. Here comes Michael. Hello, Mike.
It's an Imperial Keter type of mining it is today. Which is pretty good. So, how many of my collector limpets are out there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably. Which is about right. And the good thing is we can just sit back and let, let all these things carry on. I'm not quite happy with my fire groups, how I've set these up. Um, like surface scan, I don't need that. Uh, pulse wave, uh, don't need that. Pulse wave, don't need that. Um, but I don't need a lot of things here, to be perfectly honest. Don't need my discovery scanner for this. The collector there. Prospector there. Uh, don't need that. Try and trim things down a bit. There you go. That might be a bit easier. We're picking up all sorts of gear. So, collectors are all, are all out there. That's great. Let's get those flying monkeys out there. All sorts of good stuff knocking about. Yes, I can see you've arrived, Mike. Good stuff. And I've generally been heading in sort of that direction towards the centre of the tritium hotspot. Um... How are things looking in the inventory? Well, we got some methane carthrite, we've got some methanol hydrite, and we've got some lithium hydroxide. We don't need some of that, but I'm all right with that. You know, it's 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 not too dramatic for me. Still got a load of limpets, which is great, and we got some tritium. And tritium's always good, good for a laugh. Of course, with these these bigger rocks, do get an awful lot of material coming off them. Tritium! Tritium! Tritium. 31% tritium. Alright, isn't it? Not to be sniffed at. Truth be told, I don't really care about the mining goal. I mean, what are we going to get for that? Nothing. Um, in fact, what are we going to get for the mining goal? The mining goal says uh, we will pay for shipments of the same ores, blah, blah, blah. Uh, close links with salvation. There's no indication that this is, is connected with salvation's efforts, the combat thargoids. 
who's going to get paid off for it. So by signing up, dropping some off, you can say, yeah, you've done it. And I kind of move on, move on to the next thing. So, yeah, there you go. I've already done, did the secret one um, yesterday, Alpha. Uh, on, on yesterday's stream, did a little bit more this morning, got into the 50th percentile, I think. Let me have a look. Where was I? Uh, yeah, I'm in the top 50th, and I delivered 90 units. And that was the right pain in the bottom. Oh yeah, livery. That, that, that's, that's the stuff. You get some, some sort of paint job, don't you? Depleted. It's depleted. Right, mustn't crash into Mike. There's Mike over there. Right, okay then. Let's pop a perspective at that one. A thousand! They must have had them in their carrier. I mean, you saw it. I mean, I tried doing that, um, using collector limpets to pick up some of the stuff. I managed to get six. Eddie, 07, how are you? Um, I managed to get seven. Which was hardly what you call um, mind blowing. So, yeah, they must have had loads of those on their carrier. Offload, get the space. Good for them. Get those limpets in the air. So yeah, people are people are going great guns for it, has to be said. Um good for them. them well I mean this is gonna run on until the seventh isn't it so you've got four days four days of it Tritium over there. Nothing much though. Where am I mining? You don't know where to mine. Well, I will show you, Eddie. I will show you, I will show you, I will show you. Navigation. The system map. See where the heart of Taurus is? That planet there. That's where I am. And I'm in I'm in the tritium ring. Okay. That's where I am. I'm right there. There's some good old tritium asteroids knocking about. Now you might decide to go and do some um, low temperature diamond stuff. It's up to you. I mean, I went for tritium because for me, tritium's great. It powers the carrier.
So yeah, my collector limpets are out there doing their thing. Mike's got his collector limpets out there doing their thing. But for me, like I say, it's not all about the materials they want you to mine. For me, it's all about the other materials that I want to mine, like tritium. And all the other engineering materials like germanium and stuff like that, that you'll, that you'll need to mine. Now things could be going a bit quicker, I realise, because, you know, I could have had two rather large um, limpet controllers on the go. But there you go. Ooh, stuff over there. And it, ha it does make a hell of a difference if you've got like a large limpet controller fitted to the ship. It's all about how much you can throughput and collect all those materials before moving on to the next one. I say the mining lands is a really good like that because they're quite long range. You can see I'm I'm knocking into that asteroid now and I'm nearly a nearly a thousand meters away. Or we'll take the shouting. And I've got about seven limpets in the air. Seven, eight limpets in the air. So that's not bad. Yes, fly, my pretties. Let's just take a look outside and have a look around. Limpets quite literally everywhere. You know, off doing their thing. Carrying their rocks. I've clipped into an asteroid there, look. There's old Mike doing some mining. Press and crash into Mike. Zoom! Hello from... Hello, Florida. I was there last week. I miss it, to be perfectly honest with you. I am missing it. Yeah, well, the community goal, the salvation community goal, is pretty good for things like this. Because, you know, you get invited in to do other salvation stuff. Like, I'm going after hydrogen peroxide here for some apparent reason. Why not? I don't need it, but like there's other stuff that I probably will. Now I haven't got an abrasion blaster on this, unfortunately, because there is some tritium deposits there. But there are going to be other sort of materials knocking about. So cool stuff so far, cool stuff so far. Let's 
see what this one over here is going to do for us. Hmm. Water, liquid oxygen. Little bit of tritium. All ah, right, you what? You've upgraded that sniper rifle all the way to grade five, is it, or have you got some additional engineering on it? Because the grade five makes a hell of a difference. And um, I've just transferred a lot of my materials to my bartender on my carrier as well. Now we've got the thousand uh, material limit on there, which is great. Um. So I got a bit of space to get some more swing. It's financial projections I'm after. Now, lithium hydroxide there. I believe we need that. Level 5 all engineered. What engineered um, effects did you put on it with the engineer? I mean, larger magazine. Stability. Um, what else? Because I really engineered up my plasma pistol. That's my go-to weapon. I am lethal with that thing. Utterly surgical. Audio. Aha. That's a good effect, mind, isn't it? That's a really good effect. Not much that I want there, to be fair. We look at what I'm picking up here. Lithium hydroxide. Hydrogen peroxide. Just might as well just pick it all up, isn't it, really? Pick it all up and sort it out elsewhere. Range, yeah. There's one for extra zoom, isn't it? I think that'd be quite good. Yeah, manufacturing... Ah, oh, Narco Wookie. How are you doing, Commander? Um, yeah, manufacturing instructions. You always need them. You know, they're like... They're like... They're like air. Now we got the stuff coming in. Look, that's a bit better. Tritium's the one. That's what it's all about. And I got some other stuff knocking about as well. You know, who cares? Let's get it all in here. Pick it all up. So again, what we're looking for is coltan. We're also looking for lithium hydroxide. And we're also looking for methanol mon monohydrate.
tritium. Tritium there. Low temperature diamonds there as well. Though. Always worthwhile having a few of those. Getting in there, mining away, getting those lasers pulsating. They are pulsating against that asteroid. I say, you might as well make the most of this mining and get all the other stuff you typically could want. Picking up any water here, so it's okay. And all the other materials I'm kind of alright with vanadium, phosphorus, all that. You know, limpets everywhere. So what have we got here in the hopper? So I reckon it's the hopper that is really messing me about. Yep, good stuff. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they're all out doing their thing. Great stuff. That's what it's all about. Scooping up stuff, bringing it back to base. Quite hypnotic, this mind, isn't it? All good stuff. Simon is in the do to do to do. Simon is in the uh, Raya Wither system, something like that. Anyway, is where he is, and he, he's doing some anarchy stuff. He's converting some. I said we pop over a little bit later.
what are we pulling out of here? Bromolite and liquid oxygen. And bromolite's okay, you know, we're all right with it. What are we pulling out here? Tritium and liquid oxygen. Oh, the sniper, the shotgun, and the rocket. Ah, that's all right, isn't it? I do like the engineering up of the, the ground-based weapons. I do think it looks pretty cool. Don't know what this asteroid's going to bring me. Who knows? Tritium, that's all right. these mining lances are pretty cool as well with their distance. I do like them. Always have my on them for quite some time. Then I went through all the power plate items. Open. No, I'm in a I'm in my private group. this one got us. Ooh, all the stuff that we want. So, how many of you are also doing the, um, the community goal? Because I was in open this morning, and I was having a nose around. Weren't that many commanders knocking about? To be fair, I'm just wondering if Elite or Frontier has kind of shot its bolt. You know, I don't know. They need something radical to reinvigorate the player base. You know, make it, make it worthwhile for those commanders who love the game, who are on console, to get back in and, so, and then, you know, Get a PC, really. There comes Mike. It's always worthwhile trying to find out and try and judge the sentiment from other commanders. Are they doing these community goals? Are they not? You know, is it a thing they really want to do? You know, it's, it's quite interesting for me to try and see, see how people are, how it's being judged by other people.
Yeah, Jules, you're right there. I mean, the freak carrier does make it more interesting, to be fair. You know, it does it does make it really interesting. Um, I'm not sure I would have trolleyed all the way down here in my mining rig just to do it. Though I can jump the fleet carrier, and that's partly why I'm going for the tritium here as well. Because that would have paid, this so far would have paid for the jumps down here. And that, I think, you know, is key. Got to be able to, you know, have a good go. It's also good as well because Mike's down here as well, right? So we know Mike's doing it. Where is my perspective? Here it is. I'm just going to go and let the dog in because it would seem everybody's incapable of this house of letting the dog in as well. Right, where were we? Yes. You know, these community goals are here. I mean, they can be a bit grindy. I know, but like, at least they're trying to engage the community. Where's my prospector? There it is. Asteroid depleted. Give me all that lovely tritium. So once again, if you've just joined the stream, so where am I? I am in the Sanufi CE-R system, the community goals system, and I am mining this planet right here. And I'm mining the tritium hotspot, which is about there. So I'm all right with that. Added bonus, tritium for the fleet carrier. Which is great. Did they have 4K on the live stream? I don't know what they um, what they're streaming at. Might be 1080p. I don't know. I tend to do 1080p because, um, well, because I do. Uh, so I get the additional conversion strain on my PC for this. And I've only got a 550 
megabit per second link and not entirely sure the 4k stream it's going to do it commander p dav g how are you doing commander and uni the elder thanks for following that makes means a lot it does mean a lot actually um Yeah, get those limpets in the air. Um, this one you can sign up for anywhere. The um, Guardian one, though, however, you've got to sign up on that particular mega ship in the HIP uh, 37568 system. Uh, the Musashi or something like that it's called. So you can sign up for this one anyway. Um... Look outside of here, look, and see, is all my limpets coming in, doing their thing, which is great. And you drop all these off at the heart of Taurus, the heart of Taurus is in the system anyway, so. There's Mike in his cutter, doing all the things Mike in his cutter does. So we are mining coltan, lithium hydroxide, and methanol monohydrate. Amongst other things as well in this community goal. And tritium, of course, because, you know, why not? Always good to have a bit of tritium. Um, here we go. What's this one going to find? Mike's found something over there. What, my act what have I actually got yet? Got some hydrogen peroxide, hydrogen hydroxide. I got some methanol monohydrate and some methane cartridge. And I've got a good old chunk of, of tritium, to be fair. Plus filling up all the, the hoppers with other materials that I'm mining as well. So far, so good. That's quite a good colour scheme, the iridescent though, isn't it? Oh, 
four days of force, ten gales. Did you record it? It was the piano in the room giving it all this, like you see on the YouTube videos. Force ten gales, man. Woo! That's some heavy stuff. Okay, um, next up. Astro is depleted. Astro is depleted. That's depleted. Oh, sorry, Mike. Was in the way. Some of my limpets are expiring. Never mind. Yeah, I've not been on a cruise. Her indoors has always said, Oh, we want to go on a cruise. Do we really? Um, Blimey, so it was, it was that bad, was it? It never should have got out. So for all that time, and all that money spent, that's what frustrates me with that. You know, you can't sort of guarantee the weather. Well, you can't anyway. I mean, it was like my Spain holiday. I went years and years ago. It rained. It rained for six days. Solid. Two young kids and the missus in Spain. That was a holiday from hell. Holiday from hell, I'll tell you. That's what that was. I suppose you book your slot and away you go. Asteroid depleted. Now here we've got two asteroids just by here, look.
So, once again, what are we looking for? We are looking for methanol monohydrate and lithium hydroxide, of which there's none. Just waiting for... orientate myself so I can start prospecting the other ones. What's needed here is a little target to say how many collector limpets you have active. Depleted. Depleted. That's been done. So I can see the score marks on it. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Things are getting a bit messy at the moment. Don't know what I've scanned and don't know what I haven't. Obviously I've scanned all of those. Where's this tritium hotspot? That's what I was looking at. That's what I was angled for. All that way. What have we got on this rock? I think I really need. I'm just kind of mining anything at this stage, to be fair. I mean, I could be saying, yeah, well, I don't want that, and I don't want this, and I don't want that. Um... We got here. Well, that one. Prospector. Fire. And that knobbly one there. Look. That's it. That's what I want. Ethanol. On a hydrate. Amongst other things, and the bromelite isn't going to be so shabby, is it? Yeah, so Paul, you say they had their money. Ah, right, yes. I see what you mean. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I see about 4K viewers. I'm just reading the stuff now. Yeah, they had quite a few people, you know, on the live stream, mine, didn't they? We are pulling in loads of stuff. We're pulling in not only stuff like chromium, sulfur, iron, um, stuff like that. We're also pulling in hydrogen peroxide. There's canisters of that everywhere. Um, bromolite, tritium, methanol, monohydrate, which is what we want. Okay. I guess a little bit closer. Oh, this one, Prospector. There we go, we can mine this out. Mine it out for the tritium. Yeah, there's been a huge drop in players. Um, especially on consoles, obviously. Not so much on the PC. And perhaps there's been a slight increase on PC players where people have gone, hey, I like the game so much, you know, I'm gonna buy a PC. Um, and it's not only about Elite Dangerous. Other good games like, you know, No Man's Sky, Star Citizen, la 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 la. All those things as well. They're knocking about. I think we are nearly out there. That's been done. This little one here hasn't been. Say how many got that nickel, chromium, phosphorus, germanium, it's all there. Look at all that. That was the inventory looking. Not bad. You know we've got stuff I don't need. <laughs> stuff I can make many out of, and tritium is always worthwhile. Yeah, more than likely. <laughs> you fancy a bacon sandwich? Brown sauce on bacon sandwich. My missus puts vinegar on her bacon sandwich. Not a euphemism. But she does. I bet, what's this heresy from the South Wales Valleys? But no. It actually tastes quite nice. A sprinkling of sarsin's vinegar on the bacon really makes it pounce off the bread. In fact, I'm salivating now just thinking about it.
Try it on. A little bit of vinegar. Get your brown sauce on or whatever you put on it. And then come back and let me know. All good stuff. I'm going to go and recharge my glass, if you know what I mean. Back in a minute.
Right, I am back. Hopefully now. Get myself over there. Get the old mining lance out. Got my collectors there, look. Let's start shooting. Shooting rocks. This, if anyone's asking, is um, Hobgoblin Pale Ale. Which is really nice. Mayo on a bacon sandwich. That is some heavy stuff. I've not tried it. So it's always been a brown sauce man, sort of, on a bacon sandwich. Yeah, the opinion polls were quite difficult to find. Oh, definitely. If you can link your account to it, then um, then you're on to a winner with an ARA. I've linked my account to it. Register the fleet carrier. Great stuff. So how are you doing, Mike? Mind much? I'm kind of here for the tritium. Yeah, that's the good thing about it, isn't it? You know, getting some on someone's on someone's carrier. really makes the carriers worthwhile and opens up the sort of community as well which is why I can understand they haven't built that sort of community aspect into um, into the game you know having to go outside the game to a third party app can be such a pain Alexander how are you seven commander
Oh, mate, no, it's not. It's mining community goal this time. But we are going to take a break from this and find out where Simon is. He's rocking around somewhere or other. Wait, let's have a look. Where's my Simon messages? He's not on you. He's, he's, he's somewhere else, look. We can go do some ground-based missions somewhere. He did say it was called, um... Blah, 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 blah. It wasn't called that, it was called... Raiden Wither. Which is 700 light years the other way. That's where, that's where old Simon is, he's there. Raiden Wither. Yeah, you know, look at that. We're, we're getting some some really good materials as well. Germanium. We're getting all the all the other good stuff. Also, we're getting the tritium. I mean, to be fair, the other stuff I don't I don't give a hoot about. It's the tritium I give a hoot about. Yeah, there's so much more they can do. But then again, then again, they've got to make it better, right? They've got to make it better than what Inara is. And Inara is really good. To be fair, it's really good. Protecting a cargo loader from hostiles. Ah, you're doing those missions, are you? What do you think of them? They're all right. I think they're good, like. They've altered it a little bit. I'm all right with that. The third party sites do make things a bit easier. Let's face it, they do make it a lot easier. It's like as well, the engineering on some of these modules, like limpet engineering, should be more than just the controller module. If you could engineer your limpets to be resilient, um, quicker, able to pick up two items, that would be good engineering for this as well, wouldn't it? I think, anyway. Yeah, I used EDDB quite a bit as well, but Inara seems to be the one for me at the moment.
I mean, like with this, we're doing all right on this mining, but it's a bit dry, isn't it? And when I say a bit dry... It's a lot. It really is dry. Bet you that's been well. Don't see the scars of any lasers on it, though. Tritium. I'll mine you for your tritium. You didn't expect me to look like your father. I don't know. Who's your mother? <laughs> I mean, I do get about a bit. Um, well, I'm not sure what to, say, what to say about that. Raphael. I'll take it as a compliment. You've just made the top 25% with three runs in a Python. Ooh, good stuff. So, Python... 220 max cargo we could say um is that what we're looking like so 680 boom boom um i got you Mining all that tritium. Commander Resby. Seven, Commander. But I haven't checked what's going on here with the appeal for Guardian Artifact. Um, top 50. But I'd imagine I would drop to the top 75 quite quickly with that. I mean, I've only got 90 units in there, to be fair. And that was like pulling teeth. Is it worth it? The thing with these salvation ones, right? Is that you dare not do it. Because it'll lead to another invite. Like this one. Because I didn't write at the beginning. I went down... Did the um, the stranded ship that was next to the the scavengers way back when, and I've done every one since. Been involved somewhere. I'm not looking to be in the top 75. I couldn't give a hoot really about all the uh, the paint jobs and what have you. Just that you've taken part and that you do get an invite for the next one. That's what it's all about, really. I've done enough. I think. Um, Two hundred and thirty seven, blimey. You must really want that decal. That's depleted. Get around there. That asteroid's depleted as well, but this one is that depleted. It's not like it's depleted. What are we getting out of there? Utter rubbish that I don't need.
Well, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? You know, it is it is quite dry. I'm looking for guardian material. No, guardian, a guardian module. Um. Blueprint. So I want to get the the hell blueprint. That's what I want. I say with this one, couldn't really give a toss about the buddy community goal. Pick up what I pick up, and then tritium it is. <sighs> no worry, no worries, Mike. I'll see you in a bit. Hey, I've got repair limpets. Do you need repair limpets? Oh, he's gone. He's left the system. Yeah, the Guardian stuff, it's, it's okay, isn't it, you know? It's better when you've got a bit of daylight on those Guardian sites. If I can come, work, come away with you with a hundred tons of tritium, that's a good couple of decent jumps. You're there and everywhere, isn't it? Oh, they really are. You can't tell what's going on. That's a good asteroid over there. Lithium hydroxide, we need that. Uh, methanol monohydrate, we need that. So we'll get ourselves over there once we've mined this. Picked up all this tritium. Tritium, tritium, tritium. Look at all that. Do you get that guff? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Seven limpets picking up all my swag. It's a nice paint job, that though. If only Frontier gave me free paint jobs, <laughs> they give me nothing. You know, and um, am I selling tritium? Do you need some tritium? I got a couple of thousand knocking about. Do special price. Special price. Right, we're off. Going over there. Now we're going to go mine, mine the pants off this thing over here. Because I have absolutely no idea. Hydrogen peroxide, liquid oxygen. I don't need any of that. What I need is this. Right there.
Yeah, whatever. Um, I can drop some off there. Are you low on tritium? Can't jump out. Oh, dude. Um, how much have I got? Eighty ten. At the moment, I got some more on my carry. If you need some. Tritium over there. Okay, so I'm not going to carry on with this mining for much longer because it's bloody pain in the ass. I am loving the mining lands though. We're getting some tritium here, some methanol, what have you. Asteroid depleted. So where's your fleet carrier? Is it in this system? Uh, let's have a look. Navigation. Um... it is and it's called my chat it's called blah 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 is coming okay I'm looking I'm looking I'm looking Yeah, Pinky Blinders. Thunder Forge. Ah, that's you there. 72,000 light seconds out. Good grief, man. Good grief.
Yeah. Always handy to help a commander out. No dramas, dude. go fire there it goes Let's move on round. Let's zoom over there a bit. That's a dense area there. Look, I could probably pop in there. Just let my Right. Why is the mining lance good? Range. The ability to cause damage to any cheeky monkey who wants to come and try and mug you off for the stuff that you're mining. Not a hell of a lot of damage, but it does a little bit. More so than mining. And I always feel a little bit dubious that when I got a ship like this, an expensive ship like this, out and about um, and it's got minimum anim armaments on it you do feel a little bit sort of like inadequate well I do when there's no big honking beam laser attached to it so these sort of like fill that gap in my opinion
Here you go, Mike. There be the lithium hydroxide, which is what we need. This particular goal and is 18.919% and a bit of tritium and some materials. There's a lot of people who say, oh, I can't possibly, I can't possibly hit an asteroid for anything less than 30% of X. Just take what you can. Oh my God, it's just not difficult. And we're still bringing in all this lithium hydroxide from the other asteroid, which is great. Lots of that coming in. So how are we? We've got 22 tons of it, which is a bit of a pain. What have we got in the hoppers? Dump that. Hydrogen prop, dump that. Keep the rest of it, man. Look at that, collecting germanium. <sighs> that was an awful lot then. That was an awful lot of lithium hydroxide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven limpets in the air. Lithium hydroxide refined. Still banging in the sulfur. Right, let's get ourselves over here. There's lithium hydroxide over here. There we go. So pulling all of that out. That's great. Pop a prospector on there. Oh, that hobgoblin bee is going down really good. That's the only way to do mining. You've got to be inebriated. Suspect engaged. Oh, that's a to and fro going at my front door, isn't it? Look at this.
to it. You're gonna love it. Okay, so we got lots of stuff that we can get our, our limpets on. We've got lots of collector limpets in the air. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tritium, they're not interested in that. Giant. Ooh, giant Watsits. Ooh, now I want giant Watsits. I'm not sure if she's bought giant Watsits. I like the monster munch. That's what I like. Um, but the flaming hot monster munch or the beef ones. That's what I like. That's a good tritium asteroid there. 27.30%. So, while that's doing its funky thing, I'm going to step away, recharge the glass, if you know what I'm saying. The only way to mine. Drunk. Let's get over there and mine this now.
What's it? I like Cheetos. Very nice. Do like what's it? Methanol monohydrate crystals right here. 29.43%. Bit of tritium. Bit of lithium hydroxide. This is the stuff we're after. This is the stuff of kings right here. I see Mike's arrived. Welcome back, Mike. I see you've got nice new shiny thrusters, I see. So we're not doing too big on the low temperature diamonds, but I didn't expect we would be. Um, bromolite, meh. Lithium hydroxide, yeah, we're kicking it. You know, hydrogen peroxide, meh. More on the tritium. That's where, that's where this mining expedition has been for me. All over the tritium. We're nearly at 100 ton there. Right, where are we? What are we doing? We were going the other way. We're... Heading in this general direction, I believe. As for the stuff though, I mean I'm pulling some stuff in. Not too much though, I thought I'd be having a bit more. But it is what it is. That's mining for you. Now that's mining.
bit of bromelite. Bromelite's worth a few quid. So yes, it's we're two hours fifteen minutes into this afternoon's Minathon. Yes, folks. Very Minathon. Um, Gunny eighty nine. How are you doing, Commander? How are you doing? Um, nice to see you. To see you, nice. a nothing community goal this though isn't it this is like it's gonna be a narrative you know there is and you dare not not do it that's what i think it might be you dare you dare not not do it like you know it, it, it's one of those things you kind of got to do this goal Thing, Carthright, yeah, whatever. It's the tritium, that's the answer. So, what's people been watching on television? I've been watching Peacemaker. What a brilliant series. It's so stupid, it's brilliant. Um, you know, and it's adult as well, so it's a little bit edgy, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, what a good series. And I've also been watching Resident Alien, and I love that. That's absolutely fantastic. Uh, and what else have I been watching? I've been watching... Oh, I watched a great thing on Netflix. And it's a British actor is in there from Liverpool. Uh, a guy called Stephen Graham. And it's called Boiling Point. And it's about one hour, 30 minutes. And it's all filmed in one take. Just one take. It's about a chef in a restaurant and the night service. So if you get to see, get the chance, I would highly recommend, right... Ricardo's top tips for what to watch. Watching Boiling Point on Netflix if you've got it. It is brilliant. Me and my missus watched it last night. We both had experience working in that sort of industry. Our mouths were open. We were aghast. It was so well done. You know, it was, um, it really was something. So Boiling Point. That's good to watch. Also, if you are old enough, I would say watch Peacemaker on Disney. On Netflix, Flixinet, not Fli yeah, Flixinet, no, Amazon. Of course, there's Picard, but of Picard, season two to watch. Q is back, everybody. Uh, and lots of hijinks there. About three episodes into that. Of course, she doesn't like it because it's Star Trek. Um, Peaky Blinders. Bit of Peaky Blinders. Um, season 6. To be fair, not as good as the other seasons. 
You know, they're trying to bring it all round and sort of like bring a conclusion to stuff. I've got to say, you know, I mean, the acting is great, but it's, it's quite not quite as good um, as other seasons have been. It's all over the place, really. I haven't watched any of... I've watched the first episode of The Last Killing Eve. Couldn't really comment on that. Um, but yeah, some great stuff uh, on on Netflix and what have you as well. So, all in all, good gear, good stuff. Peacemaker. It is very refreshing. And John Cena does play, you know, a good, a good peacemaker. Let's just say that. So that's my little review of television lately. Um, just trying to think what else. The Rookie, always good. Upload is very good. I've, I'm about five episodes into the second season on that. And I like that because of the futurism that's in there. All right? Um, and the little nods to, like, current popular culture. That's really good as well. So, sort of like, you know, you want to look ten years into the future? You watch Upload. It's, um, a, it's about as out there as what Back to the Future Part 2 is, really. And that's why I like that. So, yeah, Upload is very good on Amazon. Um... There's a few other things I want to watch as well, but I can't remember them off the top of my head. But Upload is very good. Picard, like I say, there's Peacemaker. Boiling Point, featuring Stephen Graham, is fantastic. Utterly fantastic. And of course, there's going to be some other films released on Netflix as well. That looked to be pretty good as well. So there's some good things there. That'll be depleted then. Um, what we got here? Do you know what? It's very tempted to watch more of, of Upload. But, like, I've got to sort of, like, pick my moments when she's not in an irritable mood. <laughs> well, if she is in an irritable mood, I'll get the control. I'll sit there and go, right, you're going to watch Picard. Just be aware, you're not going to know what's going on for an hour. Don't bother asking me what's going on for an hour. Unless you've got the time to sit down and watch seven seasons of The Next Generation and the first season of Picard, you've got no chance to work out what's going on here, Chief. Oh, yeah. Reacher was really good. I can't wait for the second season of that. I saw a post as well that Mandalorian Season 3 has finished filming. Um, finished its principal photography sort of thing. So that's good. Like a bit of Mandalorian, me. Of course, Obi-Wan is coming. So, loads of good stuff coming. Um, what else is on TV? That's really good. What else am I watching? Billions. I haven't finished watching the last season of Billions yet. I did start it, but I think I might have missed one, so I stopped it and came back, and the kids were interrupting me and whatnot, you know, that, all that sort of stuff. You know what goes on. Um, but yeah, some really good programs out there. But Reacher, I mean, we binged that in about two days. Three days, perhaps. That was really good. I 
everything that I want there. So yeah, some good stuff really uh, in regards to TV. Another screen to look at other than YouTube. And I've been looking at um, the Fisker Ocean as a car. And it looks really compelling, looks really good. But in the UK, unless you order the Fisker Ocean 1 for something like 68 grand which i haven't got right um they're not going to be doing the lower end models until 2024 well that's a long time to sweat another car to be honest I'm not saying i couldn't sweat the car for it but you know it's it's a long time to wait for a car we all know virtually nothing nothing about Yeah, it, the, trying to explain Q in Picard. Well, why is he young? Well, why is he old now? Well, who is he? Why has he got it in for him? Yeah, that's how the Q explanation goes to my missus. What was he in? Who's he married to? Come on, boys. We all know what it's all about. So we are getting tritium at 16% here and 3.13% of methanol monohydrate, which is kind of what we need as well. Got 50 tons of the stuff they want. Some of the tonnage of stuff that they don't. Hurry up, get on with it. Don't need anything there. Come on, Prospector, make contact. Ugh, tritium. Full of carbon, that's good. There's a lot of triti tritium here. Lots of material content there as well. Yeah, we're putting that tritium out of the ground. That's what we're doing. Tritium everywhere. Look at that. Tritium. 
No, I don't. I think you're right there, Mike. We're not getting an awful lot of, of that. Um, Tritia looks good, though. I've got like 50 tens. Hi, Bex the Goat. How are you doing, Commander? Happy Sunday. Yeah, I'm in the tritium hotspot on the planet right next to the the carrier that wants the stuff. What am I picking up here? Lithium hydroxide knocking about. Tritium. Mining away on a Sunday afternoon, drunk my beer, just like it's going to absolutely hammer down with drink. See we're getting lithium hydroxide here, bit of tritium. I was going to do something else this stream. Watch that. I went for Hobgoblin Amber Ale, 4.5% today. That was quite nice. Went down far too easy. I might have had some of that. It might have been for Father's Day. Not Father's Day. Christmas. That's why I had that for. I'm still kind of working through it. It is a very nice beer. It's, he it's, it's a bit heavy, though. You know, it's not as, as light and fluffy as all the other stuff. Help me, Danny. <laughs> Gareth Bale. Ah. Yeah, I don't tend to watch the football, to be honest. It irritates me. The rugby, though, however, was really good. The Wales uh, women's team did really good against uh, Scotland last night. That was good. And my daughter was playing in the Millennium Stadium next door, which was good. Principality Stadium next door. 
So that was a good sort of rugby afternoon. That's why I was streaming a little bit later. Yeah, I was going to do something else this stream, but I thought I might as well just do this mining and just, it's done then, isn't it, you know? We're getting 10% tritium, or 9.18%, 17% methanol monohydrate crystals in this one. And I'm cooking my hell while I'm doing it. Oh no, the mining lasers malfunctioned. But I've got turkey biryani or turkey curry tonight. Ugh. Just a bit heavy after the massive turkey dinner I had dinner time. Okay, so by a perspective at that knobbly bobbly one over there. Everything I need over there is in the tritium. So, reckon there's gonna be any announcements this week then on from Frontier? Reckon we'll get a patch. One thing I've noticed, I cannot use my um, FSS scanner. For some reason, it is not working. I don't know why, it just isn't. Anyone else having that problem? I also notice that the Guardian sites, sometimes when you go and shoot the relics that come out of the ground, sometimes you can't. So that's something as well to have a think about. First Gen Gamer, thanks for subscribing. is so boring yeah the FSS ah right yeah it's the same from the SRV it should work you should be able to just shoot it every time I noticed that when I was picking up the Guardian stuff it wasn't doing it um, and as the FS FSS it wasn't happening it wasn't happening at all. Which made things quite awkward.
Look at all these lovely flying monkeys. Flying limpets. <laughs> yes. The FFS scanner or the FSS scanner. Which one? Depends on you and how Elite has been treating you lately. Yeah, it wasn't working for me. It's interesting. Don't know why. I don't know, it's a bit strange, the sort of like, the material environment dynamics from a missile. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Asteroid deplete. Oh, I'm getting bored, 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 Mike. I'm getting bored. What have you got here? Not a lot. 33 there. 26 there. What's that? 59? How much is it? I left my chair. Um, That's got a good spin on it. Yeah, and I'm nowhere near that yet. Yeah, so I'm nowhere near 75% at the moment. Nowhere near. But I am mining other stuff as well. And we're going to help Razor out as well. Because he needs, um, he needs tritium on his carrier.
more tritium I can get, the better. Yeah. This swarm of limpets everywhere. I was reminding this 19% tritium rock. Right, now, what I want, fire group. It's a repair limpet. Which I can't fire off yet. I got too many limpets in the air. Go. We got a bit of repairing going on, that's all right. Sulfur, carbon, all that stuff. Cool, repair limp, it's complete. Mining, 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 mining. And they'd call it a mine. Collective 
going to be lucky? Are we not going to be lucky? Who knows? That's got some of the stuff we need down there. Okay. Getting the tritium. Getting the lithium hydroxide. Asteroid depleted. Right, let's get the collector limpets on the go. Only got 150 left. So we got about 63, 63 tons of the stuff that they want. Kind of nowhere near enough. We are shooting every rock in sight. If only for the tritium. Oh, I've missed. to spend a Sunday afternoon doing, well, to be fair, not much. Doesn't really make me fulfilled mining, to be fair. It's 
kind of makes me feel sad that I feel I have to do it. Which is a bit stressful, really. What are we still picking up? We're still picking up some of those crystals, that's all right. Uh. Oh, dear me. Look, if we got what we wanted, I think we have. Uh. Right, let's go. This has got 26% tritium in it. It's a no-brainer for those fleet carrier owners. Boring, boring stuff. Boring, boring, boring stuff. Ooh, low temperature diamonds, eh? Perhaps we'll get one ton of low temperature diamonds. Not a module malfunction. Oh no. All the stuff's kind of needing a service now. It's been running for like nearly three hours mining in this area. crossing the streams look what are we picking up here low temperature diamond fragments so yeah we got one ton of low temperature diamonds now Woo! isn't that cool might even get two tons out of this you never know We are the king of tritium with 134 tons. So far. And a bit of chromium. Oh, 
great. Oh, come on, limpets, hurry up. Getting bored. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Swing it around. Here we go. Swing it around now. Lances and what have you are just destroying them. They're just doing themselves. I need more beer. I've drunk it all though. <laughs> Only bought two bottles today down the shop. I'm just picking up the odd bit here and there now, there's nothing. There's nothing too funky here. Yeah. 
Butter and tritium. I think too funky. And here, on this one, we're getting... Tritium and low temperature diamonds. But nothing of much consequence. So it looks like it's kind of dried up here. And we're not getting that much. Oh my god, it's boring. already get another ton of low temperature diamonds out of it so we are making a little bit of money but you know all that for 36 tons of lithium hydroxide 50 what's that 65 65 tons rubbish I know what you mean. Yeah, go kill 6,000 pirates. Like, oh my God, are we there yet? You know, I, it, it's just painful. Utterly, utterly painful. sure how much more of this I've got in me fellas <laughs> the danger zone highway to the living mining zone god this is just pants Utter, utter, utter pants. It's like I'm pulling some things in, I just don't know what. Tritty. this route, I need a cup of tea. Yeah, we're doing this for the liveries and we're also doing it for the fact that it might be connected to salvation. Um, I've been on this three hours now and I still haven't got enough for that. The good thing is I got seven limpets. They can go out and do their thing. 
I can go and make a cup of tea in a minute. Well, the tritium mining is actually quite good, but other than that, that's what it is. Yeah, there's the whole salvation, you know, the whole salvation thing going on, so... Right, I've got enough limpets in the air. Get me picking up swag. I'm going to get a cup of tea. Well, it would appear from this. I got coffee instead. Um, yeah, I know. I, it's just like, well, what, what do you do? Like, um, if it wasn't for the tritium, I don't know what I'd be doing. very nearly had enough of this. I don't know about what you all think. I've very nearly had enough of this.
36, 66. I haven't even got over 60. Well, I, should, well, I might be in the top 75% at the moment, but it's nowhere near enough, is it? Mighty Agu, how are you doing? Oh, 07 Commander, you're joining us three hours into our mining stream. Oh my god. And boy, is it painful. It's really painful. Oh, why the shields off? I'm not running shields, so I can hold more limpets. That's why. And, and here are said limpets doing their limpety thing. Bringing in tritium. And no one's going to attack me here anyway, so no point for the shields. So I might as well have best part of 256 tons worth of stuff. Or cargo capacity. Are you finding any of the stuff that we need, Mike? Or is it just tritium? Because all I've been picking up lately is tritium. It's been really weak. Mighty Agu, you're absolutely right there. I just think taking part, fair enough. You know, I don't even think I'm going to have enough here to get... Um, to get the, the skins they're putting on this. It isn't, is it? It was to begin with, but at the moment, not so much.
Because we're getting some tritium and some lithium hydroxide here. Won't be much though. get a 10 if we're lucky. <laughs> 66. And that's four hours. Nearly three and a half hours. That's bloody crazy. give those items away, were they? Let's face it. All my lasers are malfunctioning. It's been a rough couple of hours in this mining zone. You know, mining tritium, fair enough. Anything else? That's a waste of time. Really, I think to secure this, you need about 300 tons of the stuff. For some reason, all my limpets are expiring.
Oh, I'm trying to stick with it. Hmm. This is painful. It's a bit, you know. To write the things we do for salvation. It's bloody ridiculous. This is tough stuff. Ooh, 70 now. While we're watching paint dry, how are things going, I suppose, on the stream? Let's have a look. Right, is it done? It's done. Brilliant. Let's have a look. Okay, here we go. What are we getting out of this? Getting a little bit of lithium hydroxide, 7.42%. Quite possibly. Mike's having a bash as well.
What we got here? Let's have a look over there. Right. Yeah, exactly. With the core mining, at least you got the hunt of the cores, haven't you? As a little bit of excitement, but that can lead to frustration as well, really. Getting all uh get some low temperature diamonds from there perhaps. Just pay for the fuel in the in the ship. Tiring stuff. That's mining. If everyone else is finding it difficult as well, then fair enough. We're getting nickel, we're getting low temperature diamonds, we're getting a bit of tritium. Nothing to write home about. It really is. It's weak. Well, there you are. If you were thinking on doing this particular community goal, um, and judging by the engagement we've had here, um, you might want to reconsider and save yourself. <laughs> Steve Shaw. <laughs> the mining's boring as hell. I'm not enjoying it. I'm like... Ooh, another ton of what I needed. Ooh. <laughs> it's just shit. That's what it is. It's utter shit. crashed into it and knackered all my limpets look it is like pulling teeth and in a way that's kind of why i'm streaming it because it needs something to spice it up like why can't you go and mug off or hijack um a ship a mining ship in the area you know that's what needs to happen and get the materials that way. There's got to be different ways of just doing this. This is just rubbish. Yeah, I'm getting 2.97% lithium hydroxide. It's amazing. No, it isn't. Shit. It's what it is. What am I up to now? <sighs> 
72. All right, granted, I'm not the best miner, miner on the planet, but... Exactly, Steve. Exactly. That's exactly what would be more interesting. Like there's a mining refinery vessel parked in this ring system. Fly in, drop your ship off. Rip them off. There are so many things you could do. Yeah, I'm going to be fine, mate. You carry on. I mean, I'm not sure how much more of this I can possibly take, to be honest. Next week we'll be doing something more exciting, like a bit of Odyssey on foot gameplay, or some combat in combat zones, or anything. Or I might even just put a green screen up, and we could just watch that, right? That's how boring it is. Even the collector limpets are giving up because it's rubbish. I know, I hate mining. That's why I do mining streams very irregularly because they're rubbish. It's like, how much money have I made? Not a lot. I mean, the tritium's been adequate. I got like three, four tons of low temperature diamonds. Nothing else, you know, it's utter rubbish. Utter, utter, utter rubbish. Frontier need to be shot. And we need to be shot as well for tolerating this sort of boring gameplay. Ugh. Cargo hatch malfunction? No, not the cargo hatch. How is the bloody cargo hatch malfunctioning? Jesus Christ. Okay. 
bloody cargo hatch malfunctioning. That's all I... Well, that's just all I need, isn't it? Losing all the stuff I've just mined. All sorts of stuff are broken. Look at this. Bloody rubbish. I might get like what ten percent per per fragment. Yet I'm still doing it. Oh, pants this is. Pants, 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 pants. So, those of you who are watching, 18 of you, my God, this deserves a like and a subscribe, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? In fact, I'm even going to ask you to go on Twitch and hit a like as well if you're not on Twitch. And if you're on YouTube, right, give a like and a subscribe on YouTube as well because, do you know what? I'm exhausted by this. Right, I've got 60, 72, 72 tons of the stuff that I need. Oh, I got 158 tons of tritium as well, but it's not what you call mind-blowing, is it? Yeah, well, it's quarter past six GMT now, so I've been on for quite some time. So get liking and subscribing. It's a little thing that you can do, but it means a lot, a lot of stuff for me, really. Um, oh, it's mind blowing. My mind is blown. So much so, I'm on the coffee to try and keep me awake. <laughs> it is rubbish. Even the lasers, even the mining lasers are giving up. Even the sun's gone down it, you can't handle it. The random modules malfunctioning. Oh, but Claude, I appreciate the support, dude. I really do. And everybody in the chat, I really do appreciate this. So yesterday we had a bit of Guardian. Kind of is what it is, isn't it? Um, today we are, we got a bit of boring mining. It's no wonder the subscription count on my channel is not going up past 12,000. It might have something to do with the fact that this is rubbish.
I mean, this is kind of what is is wrong with the game, isn't it? Steve Shaw. Oh, good man. Good man, Steve. This is kind of what's wrong with the game, though, isn't it? You could sit here doing your, doing your stuff. And um, be completely and utterly bored out of your mind. Yeah, Lord Narco Wookie, you let me know. But I'm not hanging around you all week. Sort of like no chance, like. Gonna mine my tritium. Gonna drop whatever I've gotta drop off at the community gold carrier. And I am Foxtrot Oscar. Down. Out. I think I might do a bit of um Away from the keyboard mining to get some money. That always makes me feel a bit better. I've got a sneaky feeling, and it's just a sneaky feeling, that we're gonna get a new ship soon. I don't know what it is, just got a sneaky feeling. Been a while since we've had a new ship. Don't know what the new ship would be. But I just got a feeling. And I've been doing some work with the Crito Scrambler as well. And there'll be a video on how to unlock that coming out soon. But that and pairing it to the lowest of the low ships, like say an Eagle or an Imperial Eagle, to see how effective that can be as well. So might even pop it on a Sidewinder. I just don't know yet. We got some low temperature diamonds there, look. There, there you go. At least I'm getting some low temperature diamonds. But even the ass has fallen out of those. Yeah, there needs to be something. But there's a reason why they're asking for all these guardian artifacts, right? I think. And there we are, we're all being good, sort of like elite citizens. Yeah, here you are, salvation. Here's all my stuff. And then they're going to say, ah, I've developed a new ship. And it's just for killing Thargoids. And it'll be there. And it'll say, you need 50 Guardian Totems. 50 Guardian Urns. 50 Guardian Relics. And I'll go, mm, right? Because you've just given them all the salvation. And it'll be something like that. And Eamon's going to go, ah. Oh. You know? Well, yeah, exactly. Let, let's see a new... I mean, the Type 10, right? I've engineered up a Type 10 AX build. Turrets, advanced multi-cannons, blah, 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 right? You know, the next one, I'm going to ship that down and see if I can take something out with it. You never know. What's the worst that could happen? That's what that ship was built for. You know, that Type 10 and the Crusader and the... Um, God knows whatever else it was. The Challenger and the other one, that's not a Crusader or a Challenger. That looks virtually identical. You know the ones I mean.
We are still. Ugh. Up to a whole 76 now. God's sake. It's like pulling hind teeth. Even the limpets are giving up. They're like, no, can't do any more of this. No. Well, yeah, the Imperial ships haven't really advanced in design, have they? Right? Um, they sort of like, there they are. They look nice. Like a flying iPhone. Um, very Apple-esque. It kind of is what it is. What was the last ship we had in game? Crate Phantom? Amber? Crate Phantom, I think it was. Crate and Crate Phantom. And when was that? Gotta be a good two, three years ago. You know, I, I know they've been a bit concerned with getting the game fixed, but according to them, it is. It needs to be something honking. Something game-changing. That's what it needs to be. Something that's going to say, ooh, do you know what? That's going to get me back playing. Um, that's what it needs to be. This, all this talk of a panther clipper. Do you really need another trade ship? I don't think so. You want something that's going to make a difference in game. I'm not saying kill a Thargoid with one shot. But something that's going to be a bit more dynamic with the Thargoids. Or... Anti-Thargoid Shields. That's it. Anti-Thargoid Shields you need. You can make... You know, or something like that. Or anti-Thargoid Hull Coating. Like something to do with Thargoids can't shoot another Thargoid because their hulls are the same and their weapons have no effect. Some guff like that. They need something like, And you can have a coating applied to your ship. That's the kind of sort of thing we need. And Powerplay needs new people. They've been around for what, seven years now? Um, all these, all these leaders? Well, good for them. Um, but we need new Powerplay weapons that are actually any good. And everyone slags off that Krito Scrambler. Which takes down the shields, right? I think it's quite good. It's, um... Attach it to a nice, nimble ship. Then have some two other honking guns. Stay in its blind spot and have a go at it. What's the worst that could happen? But let's face it, right? It needs something to get people back in, back into the swing of things. So what are we getting here now? Yeah, getting some crystals. That's kind of what's needed.
I think. And I think the Odyssey parts of things are good. They can elaborate much more with that. Now they've decided there's no more console redevelopment. Right? And that was a gutsy move to do. Well, okay, let's capitalize on it. You've got people who can run it on a PC. Let will get cracking. Get cracking and get people on it. I will person I will pay for DLC content. Right? I haven't got a problem with that. If it's good and it works. And it adds something to the game. Like I'm sure a lot of you would. There's lots of parts of this, oh, lots of parts of this game that have been sort of like left out there, like the faction ranking system, king, admiral, whatever you are with the alliance. Do something more with that. Are we going to get base building? Are we going to get additional vehicles? When are we going to be able to engineer this scorpion and this scarab? You know? When? Are we going to be able to? I'll quite happily trade to a lower weapon on the Scarab. I don't know, like a pea shooter, for example, that will just shoot rocks and have something, for example, like, I don't know, a trailer on the back for more storage. Something that you can do You know, something else. You know, something that's going to play to the things they've put in in regards to Odyssey. Like the ability to change the gun out for something that will scan Warner. Well, yeah, that's it. An SLF fighter that could actually land. Now, that would be good on a Panther Clipper if they brought that into game because you need a shuttle, a big ship parked, and a shuttle then that is going to help you out and get you to where you need to go. It could be quite simple. It'll take Cobra and Below in there. Or Python and Below in there. You know, medium pad size ship to use as a shuttle. That's what's needed. Something that's going to change the game dynamic, but not too drastically, you know, because let's face it, they've done an awful lot of work on Odyssey as well, and they want to reap the benefits of that. Perhaps a personal transport, like a, I'm going to say it, don't laugh, a scooter, a hover scooter, or an enhanced jetpack you can engineer up. You know, something like that is what is needed. So, you know, it, it's it's quite frustrating as players. I'm sure it's frustrating for them as well, you know? They must have an idea of what they want to do. They have a roadmap. They haven't released it. Is that no one's releasing roadmaps these days?
oh no, you know, I mean, but surely with all the uncertainty going on in the world, you know, you pay your money, you got your computer, a bit of escapism with the game, there should be a huge market for this sort of thing. Huge market for this sort of thing. And a game that gives additional immersion. A lot of people talk about immersion and what you quantify as immersion in a game. It's not all about VR. Um. Yeah, we are on the dark side. I mean, we've gone and gone to the dark side, Mike. I think fleet carrier, the, the addition to fleet carriers is good. The quick, I think it was a quick win. And whether it took how quick that actually was, I don't know. But I think it was a quick win. Um, and something, you know, people have been asking for as well. So, you know, good stuff. You know, so I really do sympathize with them. And there's been a couple of other streamers who have said, oh, all well, those people who think it's really good what's happening, you know, I don't think it is at all. Well, okay, everyone's got their own opinion. Right? But, like, what you've got to understand is, is that not everyone's got a VR headset. I mean, what percentage of players play it in VR? They must have these stats. I mean, I've got a VR headset. I haven't plugged it into my computer for... at all, I don't think. So, you know, I mean, what percentage of the players were console? I mean, judging from the viewing figures on the channel and videos that I put out, quite a few, to be fair. I think it's a good 20 to 30 percent of the player base, if not more, were on console. And a lot of them have just gone, stop playing now. You can't blame them. You know, you really cannot blame them. But hey, that's me in my rant, such as it is. And you know, you've got to be, you know, optimistic, really. If you haven't got optimism with something like this, and you know they're constantly working on it, then, you know, you're constantly going to be in a bad place with it. You know, I think you've got to have that, that level of optimism. And it would seem I lost a load of limpets.
So, you know, it, there's lots of things I think we could want from the game. Star Citizen is, is in such a place. Whereas, you know, I'm not entirely sure what they're doing. I saw they released yet, yet another... Um, another update. Yeah, all these people are not playing the game. So yeah, I agree with that. I mean, the game is far from dead. Is it dying? Pfft, no. I mean, like I say, they could put extra content behind a paywall. We pay it. I pay it. I enjoy the game. I enjoy playing it. No, I think it's good. So, you know, I don't think it's all, I don't think it's all doom and gloom. I really don't. If I, I think, you know, it's, it's quite encouraging they've gone through the fixing of the game uh, addressing fixes and bugs and all the rest of it and that's going to be a continuous thing with hot fixes and what have you and um you know things are still kicking things are still kicking around i don't think it's it's that bad because here i am on a sunday afternoon at 20 to 7 doing this of all things i'm not enjoying this you know isn't it's all right, I'm enjoying talking to you lot, but like, you know, sort of there you go, like. So, there you go. I mean, I'm nearly out of limpets, and I think when I'm out of limpets, I'm going to head on back to... I'm going to drop whatever I find out. Job done.
I like a dark screen that you can barely just see the bottom of the ship. Peek around that asteroid, you can see all those limpets going in, doing their funky work. I have no idea what this is. Oh yeah, we got some got some stuff. Depleted. Right, I am gonna go and find the mega ship. I've got to drop all this guff off to. Here we go. So there it is. The heart of Taurus. Come on, get a prospector in there. It's just mine anything at this stage. Get those limpets working. Okay, right, that one's done. There you go, we got a bit of bit of tritium over there. Might as well get that. That's 21% tritium. Ten tons of low temperature diamonds. We're on 84 of the community gold stuff. 181 tritium. Well, that's not bad on the tritium side.
Yeah, that's enough painful stuff, I think, now. Just let the limpets do their thing. And then off to the carrier. That's the plan. And then when is another mining community goal? I hope it won't be for a very, very long time. Cause it's And if you're gonna do two community goals, do one community goal for Odyssey players and one that includes console players. Why not that? I think. That's what I think. I'm kind of looking for a new game to play anyway, in addition to this. And I know Battle Sector 40,000 is coming out soon. Uh, quite interested in that. Well, there's a new add-on for that, the Necrons. of Taurus and it's that way Loads of tritium to pick up, as you'd expect from a tritium hotspot. Oh, come on, limpets, hurry up. So rubbish. So there you go. That was that was mining. Um and I get myself prepared now to, to move. We're gonna be Oscar Mike. We're gonna head to the heart of Taurus. We're gonna dump the stuff that um I've mined for the past four and a half hours, which has not been an awful lot, really, in regards to community goal items. Yeah, we are moving. Yeah, out of the mass lock, if we can. engineered drives on this we'll get it up to like you know a good 400 but boost where are we just skirting 402 403 drag drives we're charging here we go got all the lights on take that out now don't need it And look at this. Oh, Jesus, look at that. Now that's an effect to behold, isn't it? We're zippity doo daring away from that.
Right. There's the ship. We're going to try and go up this way. Slow it down a bit. Here is the heart of Taurus. Here we go, we're coming in. Nice and easy like. Gotta remember what I'm flying. Disengaging, getting a boost on. Can I dock? Yes, I can. Now it's a case, yes, I can dock. Now can I dock it? Pad number one. There's the old large pad. Not that I needed a ship with a large pad, although I did need a ship with large capacity because the amount of limpets I've used. I could have done this in a Python. But this is my setup go to ship for mining, so. She tanks one. Thanks very much, dude. I, ap I appreciate your viewership. I mean, this this community goal is is kind of for for everyone, really, isn't it? It's not just for Odyssey players. It's also for console players or people on the on on horizons on PC because you can all do it. Right, refuel, repair, rearm. Right, starport services. Here we go. So commodities market, lovely. We're gonna sell all of that. I'm keeping me tritium. Got no demand for tritium. Can I buy tritium. Um I'm gonna sell my bromelite. I'm gonna sell my lithium hydroxide. All at 2.269 million. It is, I think it's stable. It hasn't crashed today. A million. All that, three million. Four hours. That's not even a million an hour, right? I'm keeping me diamonds. There's my tritium there. Stuff that I need. Um, I need to buy stuff, don't I? So... Yeah, let's have some of that. Because there was something the other day that wanted that. We're in there. Um, that's about it, really. So, so there you go. That's great. Fantastic. Um, let's go here. I haven't shot anybody, so I don't need to do any of that. Unicart Universal Carter Graphics is, is what it is. Let's repair all of that. Done. Bang. Launch. The community goal, they were after... Um, some particular items. Coltan, they were after. They were after coltan, they were after lithium hydroxide and methanol monohydrate crystals. Um, I didn't get that much, to be perfectly honest. But, you know, it is what it is.
And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and park myself back at my fleet carrier, which is around here somewhere. There it is. All but two jumps. Fire groups, get all them sorted out now. There's lots of stuff we can't do as well, look, see. I mean, to be fair, I have got a beam laser here as well. Whatever. Let's go. Maps? No, is there? I don't know. Don't think people are going to be that bothered. It's only going to last till Thursday, and then um, that's it. Come on, I'm lined up. There's my trajectory. Where are we going? Why is it not working? Why can I not jump? I know I'm a little bit close, but there you go. Here we go. Is it going to let me jump? Yes, it is. Whee, it's letting me jump. Well, yeah, it's stable today. Right? Other times it hasn't been. We've been on streams here. It's crashed. Mike's been in the same instance as me. Great. So, therefore, when it crashes, it must be Simon Mike. Um... So I've done it, I'm going to park at the carrier and see if I've hit 75%. And if I haven't, well, never mind. I'm not going back and doing any more of that. That is just, for me, wasn't really gameplay. I mean, I think the game is stable. I think it's pretty good. So if you're looking to, to return, then only really you can decide this. I have kind of never left. So... There's the carrier. Bit more speed, speed power. Careful landing this. No shields on this thing. And, you know, it's not the most maneuverable of things. Here's my pad. Pad number two.
Here we go. And we are down and home. Done. And there it is. I'm going to arrange a lovely jump now. Open that galaxy map. How far can I go? Probably go a bit further than that. About there. Gotta get the maximum, see? They need something in game to address this. That's about as far as I'm gonna get it. Set carrier destination. Thank you. We are jumping. Um let's go here. Card to graphics, tell my page, back, carrier management, um, uh, carrier services, got my card to graphics there, I mean, me, you know, 20, 23 million a week, yeah. That contribution won't make any difference at all. I mean, if I look here, transactions, um, that's been done, that's been done, that's been done. Where am I? Top 75%. I won't even be in it. I will not even be in it, right, by tomorrow. Utter rubbish. Etta, etta, etta rubbish. So, inventory, um, transfer, transfer all to carrier, cancel, carrier services, shipyard. Manage your ships. Back into my Asp Explorer. And just wait for the jump. And that was, to be quite honest, a Sunday afternoon, just early Sunday evening. And I'm going to leave it there. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you haven't hit the like and subscribe button, please do so. We're on Twitch. We're on YouTube's. Um, also on Facebook as well, but I'm not streaming to Facebook. So I've always had stream problems with that. I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching. Video out tomorrow on Monday about um, the Guardian community goal. And we'll see what happens so we can react to things as well during the week. Hope you had a nice time. I've enjoyed it. Cheers, Mike, for all your help. Thanks for everybody in the chat as well for keeping me company on what was absolutely a boring community goal, right? Totally boring. I'm going to head up to the bridge. No gravity. Magnetic contact active. Uh, and then hopefully see the carrier jump. Check on the crew as well. What the bloody hell's the crew doing? So that's what we're going to be doing. All right, so late the skaters. See you soon.